Welcome to your evening yoga practice. This practice is meant to be done just before you go to bed. So I encourage you to get everything you need to prepared for sleep. Brush your teeth, wash your face, have your bed ready, turn the lights down low. You could even practice this yoga in your pajamas. Just make sure it's something you can easily move in. For props, you'll need a yoga mat, a couple of blankets or a bolster, depending on what you have, and one yoga block. And I have two over here, but we'll just be using one this evening. Let's begin. Gently close the eyes, sitting comfortably, cross-legged or on your feet. Take a full breath in through the nose. Exhale, letting the day go. One more breath, just like that. Inhale deeply through the nose into the lower belly. And exhale, exhale, exhale. Bow the head, blink the eyes open, and let's come to hands and knees. I encourage you to take options as you need to. So if you need a blanket underneath your knees, maybe you're practicing on a hard floor, go ahead and do that right now. Begin to coil the spine up arching the back and let the head and tailbone lower and then reversing that pulling the chest forward lowering the belly and lifting the tailbone and just continue to move this coiling action of the spine pressing the hands down shins down inhale lifting the chest and the tail lifting the head doing that twice more exhale Closing the eyes here, letting the day go. Inhale, subtly opening the eyes softly as you lift. And one more cycle like that. Exhale, releasing tension in the sides of the neck. Inhale, head and tail mirror each other as the belly button hangs. And then coming back to a more neutral spine here. And this is where you can grab your block if you have no block, you can also use a book here and then just place a blanket to keep it, uh, place a blanket over it to keep it soft. Have the block in the highest height. You may need to adjust height depending on your body. From here, coming back to your hands and knees and your block should be about chest level. And what we're preparing for is downward dog with our head supported to the block. So this shorter edge of your block will come to the hairline and your head will rest on the block. So again, from hands and knees, curl the toes under. You can walk the hands forward just a little bit, lift the knees up, lift the hips up, and then bring your hairline or upper forehead to the block. And begin to settle in, making adjustments as you need to. You can always come down to the knees, and move the block to where is comfortable for you. Back of the head is long, and the body weight is supported by the legs and the arms and hands, while the head is being supported by the block. Take comfortable breaths in and out through the nose, slowing the breath down. Allow the eyes to soften or even close. So we're staying here for a few more breaths. If you need to, you can always come down to your knees, removing the block and letting your head rest on the floor or a blanket. Several more breaths here. Inhale, softly bending the knees or you can straighten them any amount without strain or curling or rounding in the back. Allow the spine to hang off the pelvis And one more cycle of breath here, allowing the head, the mind to be still and soft and lower the knees down, reopening the eyes if they were closed, walking the hands back and setting your block off to the side. We're coming into a more restorative back bend. If you tend to get cold, go ahead and have a blanket nearby or put on a sweatshirt. 
I encourage you to do that right now. Otherwise, take your bolster and you'll place it uh, horizontally on your mat. This will be to support your shoulder blades. Alternatively, you can grab your blanket that's rolled up. Make sure it's nice and firm. And this can be for your shoulder blades. So either way, I think today I will choose my bolster. And I know I'm going to need something for my head when I use a bolster for this back bend. So go ahead and sit in front of your bolster or blanket, scooting down just a little bit further away. Bend the elbows, lift the chest, and slowly come down, using your hands to support the head for the last few moments. You want the back of the head to rest comfortably, either on the floor or on a prop. And you want your arms above your blanket or bolster. Arms can be like goal posts or straight out to the side. Make sure that your elbows are resting on the floor. And if they're not, just find a lesser uh, high prop. So reduce the height of your prop. Start to close the eyes. Knees are bent, feet are flat, and the breathing is easy here. Make sure you feel nice and comfortable. So if you have any final adjustments here, Go ahead and do that right now. And let's settle in. Begin to watch the breath at heart center, noticing the ebb and flow of your breath. With your chest open, allow the breath to expand the side upper ribs and the collarbones. Allow the face to soften the space in between the eyebrows softening. And lower back should feel comfortable. And bringing your awareness to your belly, your abdomen, softening there. The palms of your hands feel as if it has two nice warm stones inside the center of the palms. The shoulder heads are dropping down. We're here for three more rounds of breath. Very slowly start to bring your awareness back to the room, to the props that you are on, and consider how you will roll off of these props right now. So very gently start to move and shift to lying on the side of the body in order to press yourself up. And once up, just quickly moving all the props off to the side. And again, if you're using a blanket, you can reposition that over your body, walking your hands back, carefully lying down on the floor. Extend your legs, allow the legs to flop open in a V shape, arms resting comfortably by the sides of the body, palms are up making our way into a final resting posture here, Shavasana, before sleep. Allow the relaxation to deepen in your body, feeling the back of your body supported on the floor. Allowing the front side of your body to feel open and safe. Any remaining tension in the body 
on the next exhale, releasing, releasing, releasing. I'll go quiet here just for a few moments to allow you to rest. From here, you have the option to continue to remain in Shavasana. And from Shavasana, making your way into your bed. And if you'd like to, you can take your exit with me right now before crawling into bed very softly moving the fingers and toes, keeping your body low to the ground. Start to turn and lie on the side of your body. You can use your arm as a pillow. From sideline, I encourage you to crawl right into bed from here. And thank you, good night, and sweet dreams. <laughs>